whether you are a beginner in chemistry or you have a lot of experience in chemistry you are going to love this video because we are going to talk about something which is revolutionizing chemistry itself well one important thing you should know about your career is if you try to get into a career in a field which is crowded it is difficult to get in that's why freshers keep complaining that i am not getting a job right because it's already crowded but at the same time experienced people can lose jobs if they don't learn this particular technique yes you guessed it right it is called as artificial intelligence and machine learning in chemistry so today i'm going to give you 10 easy steps which you have to implement in your career and if you have done that you will be able to skyrocket your career you'll be able to earn millions of dollars and not just from india across the world so no matter from which part of the world you're watching this video this is going to be relevant because this is the revolution which never happened in chemistry for last i think 120 years so what exactly is special about artificial intelligence by the way artificial intelligence is all about automation and why people love automation because that brings efficiency and what happens when efficiency comes in a company companies save money so if a company can save money because of your algorithm or something you created they'll give you a lot of salary because you help them you know uh, grow the company right you saved a lot of money and that is something you should know all private companies are constrained of resources so they don't want to spend a lot of money if they are already spending 100 dollars you could bring it down to 1 dollars they would love you and that is why you need to learn this efficient method efficient automation of the 21st century that's called artificial intelligence now having said enough about artificial intelligence let's talk about how can you get started now first things first if you are in chemistry you cannot ignore the foundation without the basics AI is useless, right? So even if you are going to train a AI model in the future or work on AI model in the future, your foundation is always going to be relevant. That means ensure that you have a solid understanding of organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, analytical chemistry. You have a very important data analytical skills uh, for spectroscopy, crystallography, drug design. All this is going to be very crucial. when you will start implementing it or start coding for ai okay now many people will ask or comment uh, below that you don't need coding that's wrong see your foundation is very important so that's one the next zero which can add next to your degree is coding now there are many ai powered coding but they are not trained models for a chemistry algorithm and that you have to understand you have this opportunity to create such an algorithm right so you will have to learn the harder way that is python you cannot ignore python you cannot ignore r studio now you'll have to understand the basics that is variables loops functions and progress of the libraries how do you use the libraries like numpy pandas matplotlib um rdkit biopython all of this will be required because most of the time in chem informatics it has been seen all these tools come very crucial and you're going to design algorithms on the top of these tools right so that is why these tools are very important now how do you learn all of this very simple rasayanika has ai in chemistry training program okay and uh, that happens uh, to start from this month it's called data science okay data science and chemistry and biology you can enroll for that okay link is given in the description you can check it out now if you enroll in that data science and ai ml it, it is a 3 months detailed program where we train you on python java r perl biopython and then we train you on how to design ai ml algorithms for uh, chemistry so you can learn all of this right now this is the second step now what is the third step the third step will be mastering the ai ml concepts now what are what are those linear regression decision trees and of course by the way by we will be training you all this in the sinica okay so linear regression decision trees random forest svms neural network all of this 
you have to master these are machine learning algorithms okay then you have to also learn the skykit learn and uh, that is for the classic ml and then tensorflow and pytorch for deep learning now why this is required because suppose you are designing algorithm to understand the mechanics or the the way protein is folding or the way a molecule is interacting the ionic bonds or the uh, organic bonds you have to understand all of that so that is where you have to create algorithms and you will have to apply these concepts into chemical data uh, basis for example predicting the solubility of a drug or the toxicity of a medicine all of this you will be doing using artificial intelligence and machine learning right so this is the third step now what is the fourth step understanding computational chemistry and chem informatics and that is why i said data science you have to understand how the smiles notation work how the molecular fingerprint works how the qsr models are designed how molecular docking happens and how uh, the quantum chemistry is happening the basics of that you will need to learn all of that right and uh, you'll have to learn autodoc schrodinger gaussian and python based frameworks and all of that can be learned in our data science for chemistry program now next fifth step would be working in open chemistry data sets now most of you think that okay if i learn the theory that's enough no in AIML, you have to implement and apply those theory. Just like, you know, your chemistry labs, whatever you learn the theory, you have to go and do the practicals in the lab exactly the same way. So whatever you learned, right, you have to create in the computer. So uh, you remember in the childhood, you used to play puzzles like you, the uh, Lego, you used to build on one on the top of the next. The same way Python, Java and Perl and RStudio, these languages helps you develop algorithm right so it's like a lego you are building on the top of each other and you get these libraries to build so once you have done that you have to practice right that is why open chemistry data sets you have to practice now there are many publicly available data sets like pubchem chembl zinc databases protein data bank all of this you will have to learn and you have to work on that then you have to practice predictive models for molecular t's like solubility uh, pharmacokinetics pka drug likeness all of that right now like i said okay you have done the practical you did some um, you know created a program but this is not enough so the sixth step is the most important step out of all of this and that is building mini projects or working on mini projects and that is why rasayanika partners with various drug discovery companies and chemistry companies and you can do those projects on rasayanika now these projects can be like predicting the solubility of a molecule using uh, machine learning or creating a quality structure activity relationship um, model to predict toxicity or using ma machine learning for re reaction prediction or retro synthesis you can also share these projects on linkedin and github and showcase your skill and by the way when you work at rasayanika you get a work experience letter and recommendation letter also that is why data science in chemistry is such a huge program many students are taking advantage of that you can also take advantage by enrolling link in the description so this is the sixth step where you are doing a project and this is an industrial project you should do and once you've done the industrial project you get a work experience letter using that now you are no longer a fresher now this is something you should understand a fresher is someone who has no experience right a experienced person is someone who has the experience but he is outdated because he is not having aiml so you can easily get in if you learn aiml so the industry is crowded of uh, people who have outdated knowledge if you get in with a fresh degree plus aiml and chemistry skill set you can learn better you can get into the industry faster and that's what rasayanika specializes in our cro arm partners with a lot of industries and those industrial projects we will give you to work on that's why this is so special and important now the eighth step would be you have to interact and create a community on linkedin so once you have learned all of this skill you have to you know interact in forums like chem uh, rx wave research gate linkedin there are many ai in chemistry groups you can participate there you can even freelance okay you can work from home and get those jobs and those also will work so that's where the chemistry forums and communities you have to learn now the ninth step for you would be applying these skill set in industry oriented domains so you'll have to approach the pharma and biotech companies and uh, uh, offer the, your drug discovery skill set clinical trials prediction skill set and by the way 
Prasainika has a placement department. So we will place you in these companies as well. So we will, uh, in material science, you can go and get, uh, you know, designing new polymers, catalysts. In environmental chemistry, you can predict pollutants, green chemistry optimization. You can get into the food chemistry industry also. And you can create uh, different kind of flavors and you can predict the flavors by combining molecules. And of course, you can do a lot of safety analytics like will it be toxic? Will it not be toxic, right? Using AI ML. Now imagine all of this coming together you have a solid career okay now what excites me personally i'll tell you see i am working with a lot of companies in the chemistry industry who are outsourcing project to rasayanika and what i have seen is they are really excited they are ready to put in any amount of money into aiml and chemistry projects with us because they they realize that what we were spending one million dollar can be done now in hundred dollars that's the kind of cost saving it is and that is why they are interested so if you can design those algorithms for them if you can learn ai and implement in their chemistry experiments or production by the way you can optimize their production they are going to reward you they are going to give you millions of dollars and trust me this is the best way a fresher can break into the chemistry industry and this is the best way an experienced person can get a promotion so according to me this is a win-win situation now one last important thing this is the last step like i said build a career pathway and how do you do that do internships with rasayanika online projects with rasayanika collaborate with our scientists and professors and research groups on linkedin apply for entry level data analyst chemistry jobs of course we will place you there and computational chemist jobs ai research intern jobs various companies like elucidata zydus cadilla then you have uh, dr reddy's these companies are hiring aiml aragen is hiring aiml experts in chemistry so you, you you can easily get in there and we will help you get placed and now you can move gradually towards specialized role now what are those specialized roles aiml scientist in drug discovery chem informatics specialist computational chemist and whatnot the sky is even not the limit actually this field is still not explored remember when uh, uh, you know plastic surgery came into the world or now recently we have the weight loss drug called vigovi right a semiglutide so now everybody is like okay it is a big thing right same way ai is a big thing and if you get in well you're going to win. So my best wishes to all of you. I hope you uh, will be able to follow these 10 steps. And if in case you want to accelerate your research career in chemistry, or if you want to develop algorithms, and if AI excites you, well, the link is in the description. You can chat with me. You can chat with our scientists. You can understand how Rasainika can help you in your career in building an AI ML powered career for uh, chemistry so all the best for your career and let me know in the comment section what more you would like to know about artificial intelligence and machine learning in chemistry and i'll be sure to create special in-depth deep learning videos for all of you so that you can grow in your career so all, all the best and thank you so much for watching stay subscribed because assigning as the place where all things chemistry happens all the best